The Great Barrier Reef is one of Australia's most iconic natural wonders. Spanning 2,300 kilometres and covering an area of 344,400 square kilometres along the Queensland coast. According to the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, the reef is home to over 600 types of coral, 1,625 species of fish, 133 species of sharks and rays, and over 30 species of whales and dolphins. In 2013, the Federal Environment Minister Greg Hunt approved port expansion at Abbott Point. If this expansion goes ahead, the Great Barrier Reef could deteriorate beyond repair. The questions answered in this presentation are, what is the current state of the reef and the wildlife? What is dredging and its purpose? What research or testing has been done to determine the long-term impact of dredging? What impacts does tourism have on the reef and how does the state of the reef affect tourism? Why does it affect us and what can we do? Each summer, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority conduct investigations into the health of the reef. It was found in 13% of their surveys, the coral had some degree of coral bleaching caused by global warming and increased water temperature. According to the IUCN Red List, the dugong is now listed as vulnerable due to the increased water turbidity and decreased seagrass. This is caused by dredging, agricultural runoff and extreme weather events. Crown of thorns starfish also pose a threat to the reef, thought to be responsible for 42% of coral loss according to Dr. Peter Doherty. Dredging needs to take place to accommodate the increase of large ships when port expansion is complete. The current leaseholders of Terminal 1 requested to North Queensland bulk ports to expand Abbott Point to accommodate increased coal intake. The long-term monitoring program monitors coral cover and health. The State Party report was released in response to concerns raised by the World Heritage Committee 2013. Reef 2050 sets out the plans that will be implemented to maintain the reef, and the Outlook report is the review of these plans to monitor progress of what has been done and what needs to be done. Tourism is a $5.4 billion industry in the Great Barrier Reef. While this income helps development programs, tourism brings the need for more infrastructure, anchoring of boats and divers that unintentionally damage coral. According to Tony Brown, the sediment is creating visibility issues and diving will become too dangerous to continue. This is your call to action. How does the decline of the reef affect us? Dr. Peter Doherty of the Australian Institute of Marine Science says, if we don't act now, coral cover could be halved by 2022 through deterioration and crown of thorns outbreaks. This means that within a few short years, there may not be a reef to visit. What can we do? Sign petitions. If these petitions have enough signatures, the government and the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority will be forced to listen. Reduce our carbon emissions to reduce global warming, support conservation organisations, and educate others so that we can work together. I have learnt through this research project that there is an alternative to dumping dredge waste in the reef. That is, to reuse the waste for landfill for the North Galilee Rail Project. I have also learnt that while dredging is not the only cause of reef decline, it is having a large impact and it also contributes to water turbidity which leads to crown of thorn starfish outbreaks. Whilst we cannot control weather events, there is a lot we can control and we have the responsibility to future generations to ensure the Great Barrier Reef is healthy for years to come.